Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to today's video which is my November update for 50 shades of yellow slash gold. This is of course a Fantastic Ladies collaboration. I will leave all the information you need for this uh, project underneath the video so please do check that out before you leave. So um, I'm looking at the products that I've been working on this month and it's not a lot. And I'm, I'm looking to see how many products I have left in this project and I definitely have a lot more to work on. But this month, I don't know what's been happening, but I just, I, I've not been focusing on this project. Sometimes that happens with project planners. We sometimes are like uber focused in one particular project because it's either coming to an end or um, we're very close to finishing products or very close to hitting goals on some products. So we zero in on them and then other things kind of just get left behind a little bit. And um, unfortunately for me this month, my uh, Fifty Shades of Gold has kind of, well, not had much use. i tell you that, it had uh, uh, nothing, <laughs> nothing. Uh, so... <clears throat> Uh, my first product is my decanted vitamin C brightening tonic with vitamin C and niacinamide from Beauty Bay. I decanted it into the spray bottle. Um, I haven't been marking the spray bottle because I reuse this, as you can tell. Uh, the the This uh, label that I stuck on myself is looking a little old. Um, but uh, we are down to here now, so this will definitely be finished by next month. I'm debating bringing in a second bottle of this because I do have another bottle of the vitamin C, but I don't know. Do, do I? Do I do that? Or, because I'm going to be using it anyway, or do I just say this is product done? Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I, I don't know if I've... I started with 50 products. I don't know if I have 50 products anymore because I've rolled things out and that weren't working and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, that's how much I have. So last month we weighed 59.21 uh, grams and now weighs 30.0, no, 30.85 grams. So I'm doing really well and I really do think that I will have that product finished by next month. Exciting. Uh, the next item is my, let's have a look, uh, Body Shop uh, Vanilla Marshmallow Body Butter. Uh, so it is the small one here in this little tub. Last month this weighed 42.57 and it now weighs 37.99. As you can see we have hit some pan there and this is all I have left. I will say that I put this to, so to the side uh, for the last um, two weeks, I want to say, because I rolled in another sort of body butter sort of thing, which was a tiny little um, uh, tub. Um, so I've been trying to focus on that one, other one more over this one, um, because I know I can roll that one out quicker. And then I'll get back to this one uh, because we do have, what, till March, April? Uh, for this project so oh gee that's only four more updates and then the finale in april i better get a shift on uh so yeah so that's that one but it's it's been used uh and it will get finished before the finale anyway the next one uh it's the first time i've used this one uh in this project it's the keels creme de corps nourishing dry body oil look at it there um i didn't mark the bottle uh, I do apologise, uh, but it's it's about halfway full now. This one started off at forty five point six four grams uh, as of last month, and this month it now weighs thirty two point eight four. And guess how I have discovered to use this little beauty, and I do say beauty because I really like this product. Um, put it in a spray bottle. Why it doesn't come in a spray bottle, I'll never know. But it does say, actually, on somewhere, where does it say? Directions, mist onto clean skin and gently massage until fully absorbed. Apply throughout the day as needed. Can be layered under your favourite Kiehl's moisturiser. I don't have a Kiehl's moisturiser, let alone a favourite one. But, um, mist onto clean skin. 
but it's in a, it's in a way. If I'm supposed to mist it on, why isn't it in a drop bottle? I don't understand. So anyway, I had a little uh, Urban Decay uh, travel mini size bottle that was uh, that I discovered was empty, and I was I don't know why I kept it, but you know for travel maybe. So I poured some of it into the Urban Decay little mini bottle. And I've been using that to spray onto my legs. And then I've been using been using a um, tanning mitt to rub it in because um, I didn't like the greasy feel all over my hands. Um, but yeah, it, it really does help my dry skin. I suffer with really bad dry skin on my legs. It's 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 like Christmas. It's snowing. Um, <laughs> TMI in a club. But you know, I really do suffer with dry skin. Um, so this is really helping and I like it. I like it a lot, which is good because I have a few body oils. Um, so yeah, that is that product. It's very, very oily and it's living stems everywhere. Um, okay, on to the makeup now. I've... Guys, I've barely used any of my makeup in this project. So let's go. So the first item I have used, but it hasn't changed any weight. Um, this is the number seven eyeshadow uh, uh, quad in ruby slippers. And my goal is to hit pan in one of the shades. I'm picking this one because uh, I, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of a dip going there now. Um, but this is a beautiful, like, I would say in a corner highlight, but I use another palette for my inner corner highlight. But there it is there. So what I tend to do with this one, especially as well, because it, it is more like peachy and I don't really go for a peachy inner corner highlight. Um, so what I've been doing with this one is um, I've been using this um, on my eyelids um, for a brighter eye look in some cases. So I have used this. Uh, five times this last month um, but it stayed the same at 58.10 grams I don't know why um, but yeah it is what it is um, but we do have a little bit of a dip going um, we might be here till the end of the project I don't even know if I'm going to make it hit pan by the end of the project I don't know but we'll keep going and then last but not least, a very quick update for you this month, is my sleek mini eyeshadow palette in Gleaming in Gold. I am attempting to hit six pans in this palette. And I'm currently working on this shade here. And now I don't know if you can see, if I tip it there, if you can see that I have a little bit of a dip going at the top there. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but um, yeah, I can definitely see a little bit of a dip going. I've used this eight times this month as my inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight, and it has gone from 40.08 to 40.04. What can I say? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. Um, but if I stick to regular... Uh, schedule as I've done previously hopefully by next month I should have hit pan but I think I'm gonna, gonna need to up my uses a little bit more on this um, if I'm gonna do that next month because um, most months I generally use it uh, 10 times at least a minimum and then I've hit pan within two months so uh, I'm trying guys I am trying but that is it. Um, I don't know. I still have lots of products to use in this project pan. But I haven't been focusing on them. Because as I say, I've been focusing on some other items in other projects. I'm a busy gal. I'm a busy, busy gal. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video of nuts. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.